So the ornaments you're going to need for the B part are a G roll. So if you'd like to recap that, then click here. And the other ornament you're going to need is B pip. So if you'd like to recap that, click here. And you're also going to need an F pip. So to recap that, click here. And finally, you're going to need an E pipped with an A running to a D. So to recap that, click here. And once you have them all sorted, then continue on to learn the B part. It's based on the B part. Now, I want you to break that down into four little bits. First of all, you're going to go. So go B, E, F, tongue, slur. Listen. Try that. Now you're going to do G roll. Just do that there now. Ready, go. G, roll. Good. Now you're going to do. Which is F, G, A, F. And slur all of that. Try that. Brilliant. Okay. Now I want you to try putting the G roll and the run together. So listen. Lovely. Well done to you. Now try that again. Ready, go. Mahu. Now you're going to add a little tail of an E to that phrase. So you're going to go. And it's all slurred. G roll, F, G, A, F, B. All slurred. Ready, go. And now you're going to add one final note, which is a D. Just stuck there in the end. Okay? And it's going to be toned. So the whole thing sounds... Okay? Now, how about we try that together? Ready? Go! Now, we're going to put our section 1 before all of that. Okay, so you're going to start in your B, E, F, and then go into your G, roll, try with me now, and do. And do. Let's try that again. Ready, go. Phrase two, I'm delighted to report, is identical to phrase two in the first part. You just go. Okay, so just repeat phrase two as you know it. And do. So now we're going to do Frosted Tree, and I'm delighted to report it's very similar to Frosted Tree. So you're going to start off the same. B, E, F, just like before. Then you're going to do a G roll, just like before. But this time you're going to go after it. So it's F, A, F, E, D. So it, the articulation pattern is. Slur, tongue, slur, tongue. So listen one more time. Try it. Mahu. Now how about we try putting that after the roll. So G roll into that. Ready, go. Mahu. 
Okay, so now we're going to try the whole of phrase three, and it's got a slightly different articulation. You're going to find yourself going B, S, R, A, S, R, D. Okay, and it sounds like this. Okay, that's quite subtle. If you get it, brilliant. If you, God forbid, revert to the phrasing in phrase one, sorry, the articulation in phrase one, I'm not sure that the trad police are going to be able to come and hunt you down and kill you. I think they might have more important fish to fry. So, don't worry. If you get it, great. If you don't, no pressure. Okay, so let's try it one more time. Ready, go. Now, phrase four is identical to Frostacar in the first part. So you just go. Okay. Aim. So the second time you play B part, you do need to, you know, inhale. So we're going to sort that out right now, just like we did in the first part. So normally in phrase one, you go, etc., etc. Now I want you to try going, okay? So B E F G G, and you're just going to go, tong sar tong breath. But slurring into the rest. Okay, so it'll sound like this. Right? Nice. So now let's try frosting with the breath. Okay, ready, go. Lovely, well done. So the second time you do the B part, it is really nice to put a variation in the third phrase. We're going to learn that now. So first of all, you start off like before. B, E, F. Now instead of doing a roll, you're going to go. G, B, G. So how about trying that with me? G, B, G. Now, the way it goes with the first three notes is. B, slur. G. Okay, try that with me. Ready, go. Lovely. Now you're going to have a lovely little segue into the normal way of doing phrase three. Okay, so how about we try the entire phrase with our variation? Sounds like this. One, two. So the second time you play the B part, you end on the low register so that you're ready to go back into the A part. You already know how to do this actually from the A part. It's
Go.